gonna be making spicy chicken and broccoli. We are, and the spicy chicken is also known as buffalo chicken, and we really like spicy chicken, don't we? Yeah, we do. So what we do, that doesn't go on our head. <laughs> what we do is we took about a pound of chicken breast or two chicken breasts, and we marinated it in some buffalo sauce, about a cup or six ounces. Um, we usually use like half of a 12 ounce jar. And we're gonna take the chicken breasts and cook them in a media skillet on medium heat, covered. And we're just gonna dump them in. We gotta be very careful because they're full breasts. All right, we don't need to stir them right now. Well, we'll have to cut them. We'll cut them up in a little bit. So since we're using full breasts, we don't have them cut just yet. Um, we will have to cut them once they're done cooking. If you want to cut them once they're done cooking and then add a little bit more sauce into the pan and cook them in more sauce so you have a thicker sauce on them, you can. That's up to you. And then for the broccoli... If you want to steam your broccoli, you can. If you want to use frozen pre-cooked broccoli, you can. We just bought some fresh broccoli from the store. And we are going to... Can you eat broccoli raw? Yeah, you can eat broccoli raw. I don't know if you like raw broccoli. You want to try a tiny, tiny piece? You, you want to... Here, this one's kind of small. You could take off one of those tiny trees. Anyways, so we just chopped up our broccoli into smaller florets. You don't like it? Put it back in here. I'll cook it. <laughs> and we have a little bit of water in the bottom of a saucepan. We're going to go ahead and dump it in. We also have that on medium heat. And we're going to cover it so it can get a little bit of steam and allow that to cook while our chicken cooks. And... Got a raw broccoli taste in your mouth you don't like? <laughs> I like to make my chicken into like a buffalo chicken taco or if you want have big wrap size tortillas. I saw the cat. <laughs> the kitty ran by. If you have um, wrap size tortillas, you can make a buffalo chicken wrap with this. So while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some tomatoes and lettuce to put in my mini buffalo chicken tacos. <laughs> you just got sauce on your face. <laughs> That's why we don't put the utensils on our face. Alright, well we're going to let this chicken cook and when it is done, we'll come back to show you what's next. Our chicken is done and our plates are ready. What we did is we just let them cook a little bit on each side and then we cut them up and added about six more ounces of buffalo. That's really hot. <laughs> we added about six more ounces of buffalo sauce and then let that cook and get all thick and then our chicken got nice and coated with the buffalo sauce. We drained our broccolis <laughs> and then I cut up some lettuce and tomatoes and made myself a buffalo chicken taco and we're adding some carrots and of course some ranch for dipping you are ready to eat aren't you well thank you so much for watching and we hope that you enjoy this easy weeknight meal and we will see you next time see you next video bye, bye.